It is early in the morning. You all know I have been sick. I have a doctor's appointment later this afternoon, but when I got up this morning and checked my computer, this has turned me around. I am in such a good freaking fantastic mood for one reason. I don't know if you can see this, am 136 subscribers away from hitting 100,000 subs on YouTube. Y'all, this is a huge, incredible, unbelievable milestone, something that I never thought was possible, something that I, in my wildest dreams, never thought would happen when I started my little YouTube channel for, let's see, yeah, four years and four? I, almost five years that I have had this YouTube channel and I started it because of this hair, this gray hair. That was all I wanted was to put my journey out in the world about going gray. And here we are, almost a 100 thousand subs later. I knew it was going to happen sometime this weekend. I've been keeping an eye on, you know, I can see it in real time. And I figured it would happen on Saturday or Sunday, but I woke up to the start of Vlogmas, which is today on December the 1st. And as of right now, I have 99,864 subscribers. I'm gaining like 150, 200 subs a day. So that means it should happen today. And the reason I'm getting so many subs right now is because a video that I put out two years ago about how to make Christmas crack. Have you ever seen this stuff? Christmas crack. Oh my goodness. I'm going to show you how to make Christmas crack. It went viral last winter and really jumped me up. And then starting in mid-October of this year, it has gone viral again. It I, I'll have to look at the analytics, but it has almost a million views. It's being watched almost 17 thousand times every single day because people are looking for Christmas candy and Christmas treats and my Christmas crack video is coming up. So that's really what has propelled me forward all of a sudden. This is probably hard for you all to see, but this is real time analytics. My Christmas crack video has been watched 14,000 times in the past 40, I think that's 48 hours, maybe. And then you can see right here. Uh-oh, I got one more. You can see this is real-time analytics where my subscribers are and how many total video views in the last 48 hours. So if I click right here, whoa, this shows me real-time what's happening. And you can see my subscriber count bup, 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 just like this over the month of November. So hopefully today's the day. So it is already after 10 o'clock this morning. I have zero accomplished because I've talked to both of my daughters. Randy's called me. I totally got so worked up. I forgot to turn on my happy light this morning. So I'm sitting here working, got my happy light on. I'm eating my yogurt and then I have to get on with my day. I have a two o'clock doctor's appointment. And because I'm feeling better, I'm finally going to go out and run a bunch of errands. Oh my goodness. But I wanted to show you all, this is what goes on behind the scenes most of the time. This is the glamorous work from home life that I'm living, y'all. Pajamas at 10 o'clock in front of my happy light. But I've got to sit here and edit two YouTube videos or Vlogmas videos for you guys. And then I have to write my newsletter. I would normally be ahead of the game and have that done, but I've been so wrapped up in Vlogmas videos that I have not started the newsletter. Yesterday, I felt so bad. I couldn't do any work. I didn't film anything. I didn't do anything. I basically was just a zombie all day long. So today is to get caught up. But if you follow me on Instagram, you'll notice that I posted an Instagram reel this morning, which was a very sped up, super fast version of today's Vlogmas video, but it came out as an Instagram reel, sort of like a little teaser to the people on Instagram to try to get them to come over and follow me on YouTube. It took me forever, believe it or not, to make that little 30 second Instagram reel because I was dealing with so much content and I had to speed it up and pack it down into that little video. And let me give you an update. As of right now, how many YouTube subscribers? 99,889. So we're, we're ticking along y'all. We're ticking along. <laughs> my luck, it'll probably happen while I'm in my doctor's office and I can't be looking at my phone. Surely that will not happen. 
Surely not. Hopefully it's tonight when I'm with Randy so we can celebrate. So it's 1120. I'm dressed and I'm trying to decide what to wear today. It is a yucky, dreary, like drizzly rain, 52 degree day. Pollux is <laughs> spread out on the bed right here. It's one of his favorite places. But I don't know if I want to put on jeans and tennis shoes. Do I want to put on something cute? Like I'm starting to get that headache back, like a pressure headache. So I just took some Tylenol. Oh, yeah. When you don't feel good, you don't feel like, like putting on real clothes, right? Hmm. Like sweaters, I would have to wear jeans. And see, here's my shoe situation. It's so limited and I am not in the mood for little booty boots. I really just think I would be more comfortable in tennis shoes. The boy is laid out. Pollux, are you super comfy? You're just taking a big, big Judy, aren't you, bud? Wow. Let's see what Maxie's doing. He's probably taking a Judy in here. Oh, he is. There's the little bean over there in that big old bed. Hi, Mooey. You know what? I don't have to leave the house for two hours. I couldn't decide what to put on, so I put my pajamas back on. This is a new little pajama set for my favorite bamboo pajama company. So adorable. I slept in it last night, but it's fine. I just put it back on. I'm going to continue to work and edit videos and answer comments for just a little bit longer before I eat my lunch and get dressed. So for now, I am comfy, 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 and cozy. So it's one o'clock. I'm dressed and ready to head to the doctor. I'm going to take you all with me and uh, tell you what the diagnosis is on whatever's going on in my head. But I decided to wear this super soft little tunic. I have on leggings and my Brooks tennis shoes. I'm comfy and I'm hoping I didn't jump the gun saying that I was going to hit 100K today because right now I'm at 99,907. I still think I'll hit it today, but it might be later tonight. But, but that's fine because I wanted to be with Randy when it happened anyway. Come on, let's go. Here we go. Whoa, go, Mooey, go. Go. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Go, go. Go potty, Moo Moo. Oh, it's raining, isn't it, Mooey? Go, buds. You can do it. Maxie, go, go. He always has to stand there a second and assess the situation before he goes out. Maxers, go, go. Sheesh. But this is the weather situation. Gloom, yuck, wet, rain, misty, cold, boo. I want y'all to see this. When the boys come in, they come flying in the store with their muddy feet and get muddy paw prints all over the carpet. Mm-hmm, watch this. Come on, mud, mud, yeah. All right, guys, let's turn off the Christmas tree in the fireplace. Mom's gotta head out. I love this, love this feature about our fireplace. Remote control, boom. One thing I appreciate about living in a small town is my doctor's office is actually part of the hospital and I can just whip in and out of here so easy. When I had my surgery, my hysterectomy in Nashville and had to go to the doctor, it was such a huge big deal to have to get into the hospital. My little small town is super easy, love it. The elevator opened while I was talking to you all and all the ladies on the elevator looked like, what, what in the world is that woman doing? so weird but anyway i'm here a couple minutes early i got in here faster than i expected and my doctor goes to lunch and doesn't come back until two o'clock so i'm just that's the time of my appointment so i'm just kind of hanging in the lobby nobody's here for a couple minutes waiting waiting for my doctor i called it ear infection I have an ear infection, so I have antibiotics and a steroid pack, and hopefully I will be back up to speed super quick. So now I'm headed directly to the pharmacist to get my medicine. I have a steroid pack. I have antibiotics. I have 
a generic Flonase that I have to do for three weeks, but she assured me, well, you know, as best a doctor can, that once I get this in my system by tomorrow, I should be feeling definitely better. So, Brandy should be home from work just pretty much any minute now, and I think we're just gonna chill tonight. We might run out and get a burger or make breakfast for dinner. Do y'all do that often? When I'm sick or I'm just not in the mood, I can always eat breakfast for dinner. Ooh, and since I'm home, let me check my YouTube analytics. I can see it on my phone, but I'm talking to you all on my phone, so I don't actually know what the number is. Let's fire up my computer. Hold, hold, hold. Sorry, stuffy nose, y'all. It's just gotten worse as the day's gone on. Whoop, 99,938. That is where I am right now. Oh, me. It is 4.30 in the afternoon. Please hit 100 before I have to go to bed. I do not think I can hold my head up beyond 10 o'clock tonight. So I'm at 99,954 and Randy and I decided to have breakfast for dinner. Can you guess where we are? Cracker Barrel! So I'm leaving with some extra biscuits and blackberry jelly to take home for tomorrow. Biscuits. Dogs. Dogs. Hi, Mooey. Oh gosh, I know. Hey, Pollux. Hey, Pollux. You wanna go out? You wanna go out? Come on, let's go out. Come on, Dad let you out. Go, Mooey. Go, go. So here's the update guys. Randy and I just got home from dinner. I'm back in my pajamas. Oh, I just needed to be comfortable. And it is about 7.45 p.m. My subscriber count is 99,972. So I'm just gonna chill on the couch. I have my live real-time counter up on my desktop computer in my office, but I have been so obsessed with looking at it all day long. I just need to let it be, right? A watched pot never boils is what my mother always told me and it is so true, but I am so close to the end, so close. So I'm just gonna take a chill, take a big breath, sit here on the couch with the boys, enjoy my Christmas tree. I'm gonna turn on the fireplace and um, I'll see you when I'm 9,997, 98, something like that. I'll go in there in front of my computer. Ninety nine, nine ninety four. So it's nine twenty six. I have ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety eight, and we're standing here waiting for the last two to come in. And when it does come in, we're gonna do something crazy. Now keep in mind, it's fifty degrees, probably raining outside, and it's very late at night. So Randy's trying to get his phone set up so we can watch this in real time. 
But look, woo! It could take an hour to get two more, babe. Okay. Right, Pollux? Could take an hour. Okay, so you take this. Oh, okay, yeah. And you hold it like this. Yeah, and you turn. Are you doing it, or am I doing it on you? No, you're not doing it on me. I was going to do it. Oh, okay. Oh, we can both do one. Okay. But who's going to record us if we're both doing one? Oh, that's true. That's why I was saying, let's be here and watch this hit 100, and then we'll run out back and set the camera up and let it off. Okay. But see, these tell you they go in different directions. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Or. <gasps> Thank so we're waiting. We're watching. 99, 999. I mean, it could take minutes. We just never know. 99,999. That's a crazy number. 99,999. Crazy. It's almost 9.30. One minute we hit 9.30 p.m. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid. Of, yeah, let me turn this way. So I'm afraid if I blink and I don't have my eyes on my TV screen, I'm going to miss it. And I want to see it totally roll. Oh, did you shake it? No, I don't think you shake it. Thank you, give it away what we're gonna do. Oh my gosh, come on. One person. I need one. So I wish I had a way to know who that last person was, but whoever you are, thank you so much. Can y'all see the fireworks? <laughs> there it is. Woo! Oh. So we are going to be cleaning up confetti in my office for, look at this stuff, gold confetti. So truth be told. <laughs> told me the recording i bought these confetti cannons when i think for when i was gonna hit seventy thousand, and something happened i don't remember and i couldn't i couldn't do it three I, I don't remember there was some reason and so i put them in a drawer and i've just been holding on to them until this very moment but thank you all so much i truly 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 appreciate it i am so excited i never thought that this would happen this is just great way to end my night so thank you guys See you tomorrow.